everybody, here I am on that very same night. I'm just blowing through these pre-fills. So right now I'm here to do the pass it on tag. So I was tagged to do this by Nicole Zinia, who I will link down below. Thank you Nicole for tagging me to do this very cool tag that I had never heard of before. So basically the idea is to answer three questions in order to recommend books, books that you think that other people should read. So the first one is your favorite book that you want everyone else to read. Okay, for this one, I'm going to skip over Hunger by Roxane Gay, even though that's my real answer, because I talk about it all the time, and I'm gonna go right to Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed, which I would put in the same category as Wild because it gives me the same heart feels. It's such a user-friendly format to read with the questions and answers, and it's so good. I listened to it in the car as an audiobook, and I just cried multiple times. I just cried. Um, it's so exactly right. Like, I think that she really nails it. There's something so exactly the truth about so many things when she writes. And frankly, I don't know anyone who has read this book and I would love to have people to talk to about it because it really, really hit me right into the heart. The next question is a book that you think would make the world a better place. And for this, I have a book that I've been hesitant to share my love of on this channel, but I figure if there's any place I can talk about the uncommon weird books that I like a lot, it's here. So I actually only have the sequel. So here's the story behind this book. My little brother, who's two years younger than me, when I was in college he took a year before college in order to do a city year program, and in that city year program there was required reading right at the beginning of it. Um, and so he bought the book and brought it home, and it's just this short, quick read. Oh, I just tried to snap. I can't snap. I've never been able to snap. <sighs> it's just a short read. And um, he put it on the kitchen table, and my mom found it and picked it up and was like, oh, what's this? And so she read the whole thing in like a few hours. And then she was like, Mary Claire, is this your book? And I was like, no, I've never seen that before. She was like, this is an amazing book you should read this book and then we should talk about it. And so I was like, yeah, whatever. It's like summer break and I had nothing to do for months except for like an internship a few times a week. I picked it up, I sat down and I read it in like three hours. And honestly, I have, it completely changed the way that I approach and think about other people. It really helped me understand other people's motivations and it honestly, I have no idea how to describe it. So. The book is Leadership and the Art of Self-Deception, and the companion is The Anatomy of Peace, and both are by the Arbinger Institute. So these books, the most useful thing that I've gotten from these books is the way that they talk about understanding other people, and the way that they talk about how people decide and go about making decisions, and the reasons that people go about their lives in any particular way. It has really helped me understand other people and really helped me have greater compassion for them and to never lose sight of that compassion. There has not been any single book that has impacted me more than this book. If you're looking for a way to think about things that makes you understand other people more and also importantly, understand yourself more and to see past the bullshit, this is a really, really fantastic book. And this one's gonna be quick. The third question is a book you would recommend to new readers, and for this I thought about it, and really I only want to talk about one book out of all the ones that I was thinking about, and so my recommendation, the hardest genre for me to get into was poetry, because it was really intimidating, and I mean I took poetry classes in college and I still would go to the poetry section of bookstores and have of bookstores and have no idea what was going on like I could not pick books I could not understand them so my recommendation is to start with the ones that are really popular among the millennial generation so go with Milk and Honey by Ruby Core. go with The Princess Saves Herself with This One by Amanda Lovelace go with R.H. Singh go with Sarah Kay go with the ones that people seem to be loving and accessing and understanding and once you get like the swing of reading poetry and looking at the format and reading it in a different format, basically reading in a non-paragraph format, it'll be much, much easier for you to pick up 
other poetry books and feel confident that you will at least enjoy the experience. So I will surely, surely tag some people and you know, link them down below. Thank you again, Nicole, for tagging me to do this video. It was a lot of fun to think about, if ridiculously challenging to figure out and narrow down. Thanks for watching.